this is NDTV and you're watching Classics. Hello and welcome to Walk the Talk. I am Shekhar Gupta and my guest this week is somebody who is the lone man standing in the way of total Khan domination of Hindi cinema. And no, he's not a button or a Roshan, he's Akshay Kumar. Akshay, welcome Hi, to Walk the Talk. Sir. Thank you very much. Marvelous to have you on Walk the Talk. Thank you. Again. You are one of the most popular among young people, women, and <laughs> grown up people, okay. old people. Right. Thank you very people. much. I feel very nice about and, that. And, 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 the, and the most fun, fun star, I believe. Yeah, I enjoy doing all funny stuff and th doing things uh, which people enjoy. It. I love entertaining people. And that's uh, what... Uh, actually, even I didn't know I could do that till I realized it by some of my leading directors made me realize to do comedy and entertain people and also I started doing it. It was great. Well, you started out being very se serious and all yeah, more Yeah, more of action and things like that. But uh, after that, it, everything started changing because uh, thanks to the media who used to always say ki, he only does action and he's an actor who, who's uh, just like a furniture. So they were being actually very nice because when I look at my old films, I don't think I was a furniture, I was a furniture showroom. <laughs> so because it was quite bad. So uh, and, 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 your, and your fighting image came naturally because you had learned martial arts. Yeah. And you had the body. Oh, uh, well, I did that. I loved doing martial art. I started martial art when I was, I think, uh, 13. No, I was when I was nine or ten years old. I started doing martial art. I was learning uh, Goju Rai Karate here in Bombay, and then I started getting more interested and more. So I'd asked my dad, you know, can he send me somewhere to learn? And I think uh, that time <coughs> Bangkok was one of the right. cheapest places where you could go and learn martial arts. So I found this place in Bangkok, and my uncle also was working there. So I got this opportunity to go there and start learning Thai boxing. So that's all. But and did you learn it seriously? Yeah, yeah, it was absolutely. I, I, when I came back, I started a classes here. I used to go home and teach people. Tough time in Bangkok. It, it was a struggle. Uh, you want me to say honestly? Yes. I didn't. I no. didn't have any tough time. It was actually a lot of fun. Hmm. Morning, get up, start practicing. Then I was a, a small time cook there. I used to cook. And in a restaurant? In a small restaurant. It was not even a restaurant, Shikhar. Mm -hmm. It was just more like a dhaba, you know, uh -huh. a Thai dhaba, where a lot of Indians used to come there and, and a lot of Thai people used to come there. And you did everything, including washing the dishes? Everything, even serving. I used to make food and I used to serve people also at the same time. So, uh, Can you imagine how much premium will a restaurant charge now if they had Akshay Kumar <laughs> serving its, its patrons? Uh, well, I'm not starting any restaurant <laughs> business, by the way. No, neither am I ever going to be a producer, so forget about opening a restaurant. So, so t tell us about Bangkok. So, you know, tell us about life in, the re in this dhaba. Oh, well, life was very good. I used to enjoy it. Um, uh, people who used to come there, the, uh, the best part was uh, when the Thai women used to come there. And... Uh, now I can say it, uh, so they used to never give tips or anything like that. They used to just uh, peck you, kiss you and go. So that was the biggest tip we used to get. So um, You were getting seriously shortchanged. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I would say that. I was really seriously getting that. I read some place that you had a poster of Sri Devi in that. Uh, in that Dhaba uh, restaurant. Uh, you, I must say your homework is absolutely right. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I did have a huge poster of Sri Devi because that time, you know, that movie Tofa and uh, these of uh, all the movies were there. I still remember those songs and all. Uh, I forgot the song actually now. These these songs only Pyar Ka, Tofa, Tera. Right, right. And that, that phase was there, the Jitinder uh, Ji and uh, Sri Devi movies and all. So that time, um, she was my hot favorite and I used to have a huge poster there and every day morning we used to start work looking at her night before going to sleep just look at her and just so it was fun so and I never thought in my life I would ever work with her so when I saw her for the first time and I started working all the flashback of my life just came in front of me did she look as pretty as the poster oh yeah much prettier <laughs> than that well uh, now also I meet her sometimes in the gym I go to Marriott gym and uh, she's working out there so, whenever I see her, that's the one and, thing which and, comes in my mind. And you told her about that poster in the dhaba? No, I never told her. But obviously, <coughs> she's going to watch your program and she's going to know about it now. You've taken the secret out of my... And, uh, and before that, you know, uh, I mean, you've been brought up 
among eating places and food. Old Delhi. Old Delhi is all about food and chaat and chana batura and jalebi and yeah, ghante wala mithai and yeah. kawarji mithai and still there are places you know where it's written <coughs> nakli ghee sabit karne wale ko 1000 1 rupaye inam and all the parathas and things like that. Um, but uh, after coming in this line, it's and it's been like five years. I have to leave all those stuff. I can't eat it because you have to so-called maintain yourself. And um, unfortunately, but still, sometimes whenever I go there, I make sure that five those five days I enjoy myself back and go to my roots again. Start eating all this kind of stuff, whatever I used to eat. Tell us a little bit about your early days in Chandni Chowk. Your memories. Oh uh, well. Um, I have great memories. We were about 24, uh, 25 people staying together. Right. Uh, it was a joint family. All my mamas, mommies, my mom, dad, everybody used to all stay together. In a small house? In a, just a small house, uh, not bigger than this bus. Oh, that's small? Yeah. Uh, it was uh, not bigger than this bus and we used to all stay together. And there was, uh, we, sometimes a lot of people say, you must be so uncomfortable. I think uh, my most comfortable days were then. Because uh, not only I was with all of them, we used to, I used to know them <coughs> so well. They were, the whole idea was togetherness. And I think the best time of my life was when we all were together. You had Dilip Kumar, Devanand, Raj Kapoor, 20, 25 years back. And then you had Rajendra Kumar and Dharmendra. So in terms of just the jubilees, you are like Rajendra Kumar. But in terms of personality, you are like Dharmendra. Well, I take everything, whatever you're saying, as a compliment. and. Um, I just do films uh, not thinking uh, about the number games and what kind of uh, things they say it, but I just keep on doing my work and that's all I've been I'm surprised you say games because all your films were Khiladi earlier. How did that happen? Well, that's only on screen, uh, nothing else, but uh, I... It was just a tushin? Yes, it was and it worked. It worked. It worked also. Uh -huh. So... Um, How did it start? Um, it st all started when I was uh, with the, I met Abbas Mastan and Mr. Ratanjan, the producer of Khilari. So they told me about the script and uh, they wanted me to do this. And I really liked that script, what they were talking about. So um, mm, uh, it was a new thing for me. And to watch myself on a big screen was a very big thing because I, my, none of my forefathers come from this line. So, or, or looking at myself and seeing my mom and dad and my sister, they were like, for them, when I used to come on screen, it was a uh, screen, it was the biggest thing. And uh, you, you understand, I, I so, don't... So, how did the Kiladi mystique start? Uh, 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 the hit hui, the first Kiladi went off very well. So we came up with the idea, Ratanjan came up with an, another idea of Mai Khilari to Nari. And even that worked. And then uh, Mr. Keshu Ramse took over and he, he started the Khilari episode, Sabse Bada Khilari. That worked. Khilari on Khilari, that worked. And it was only then later on that we did one more Khilari that stopped working. So we stopped the whole episode. And I wanted to get rid of the action image. Uh, but but in, your, in your normal life, ordinary life, are you a funny guy? Or do you play pranks on uh, My people? friends find me funny, but, but my wife doesn't find me funny at all. Huh. She thinks I'm not funny at all. So I don't you, know, I'm and, a little and, and confused son? about it. Uh, son enjoys my company. He huh. likes um, to watch my movies. Uh, but uh, when it comes to Tom and Jerry, he prefers that more than me. <laughs> <laughs> he'll, grow, he'll grow up. <laughs> yeah. so, so it'll be troublesome if you, you were watching Tom and Jerry. <laughs> oh, I love Tom and Jerry. Uh. I have uh, grown up myself watching Tom and Jerry, but I think uh, that's uh, where I got a lot of ideas of doing action. Because it's it? the most violent uh, movie ever seen. I think uh, I've learned a lot from Tom and Jerry. It's surprising, but a lot of my actions, earlier actions, were copied from Tom and Jerry. Such as what? Such as uh, if you watch, um, uh, I've done Kilari or Kilari. There, there were two of the stunts which were copied from there. Uh, picking up. Um, Describe Karozara Ek Dom. Um, I had done that uh, I'm hanging under a helicopter and coming down and picking uh, Monish Bell from down. And this is what I saw when uh, Tom, he puts on wings and he comes down and he picks up Jerry and he wants to eat him. So, uh, the eating part I missed out, I didn't do that, <laughs> but uh, surely this... Uh, uh, so I used to imagine the whole thing and make uh, and adapt the cartoon figures in my real life and try and do it. Oh, that's 
That's interesting. It, it was a uh, lot of um, lot of things I've copied from there. Or an example though. Or be example. Then I did in um, a film called Khiladi 420, where he I'm standing on top of a plane. I had never imagined anybody could do that. You know, standing on top of a flying plane. I don't know, Shekhar, have you seen that uh, no, I stunt? No, I that stunt is to be seen. I, I, I wouldn't do it again ever. I'm standing off a plane which is flying up 1,000, 1,500 feet in the air and I'm to on top of it. Uh, and then I jump from the plane onto a huge uh, parachute and uh, to, just to save the heroine. And, all. and that was the biggest stunt. Or jab maine kiya tha, that time people, we didn't have that uh, computer graphics. So there's still people thought that how can it be possible? But I really did that stunt. I myself did it. I was standing on top of a plane and jumped from the plane up on a parachute. And uh, but uh, at that time the movie didn't work because nobody would believe this. It was a shame but, that but nobody it, it would. It was for real. It is. It is really. And, and I've done it. I have a footage of. And inspiration for that was also Tom and Jerry. It's absolutely Tom and Jerry. How did you pick from Tom and Jerry? It is the same thing again. He was standing on a plane. I see. And uh, at, because uh, Jerry had escaped, and he wanted to catch him, so that's how the whole thing happened. And I copied that whole thing. Good heavens, you know, if I, I hope Tom and Jerry doesn't come with more dangerous stunts now. So I hope they don't charge me for copyright. That's all. <laughs>